Hello, my name is Dirk Erschinger from drumtrainer.com and I want to talk about one of my all-time favorite grooves, one of my all-time favorite songs from one of my all-time favorite artists and one of my all-time favorite drummers. So it's about the song Sex Machine by James Brown and the beat was played by an awesome drummer called Jabo Starks. Jabo Starks and Clyde Stubblefield were like the main drummers of James Brown in the late 60s and uh, beginning 70s and this song was recorded 1970 and I think if it wasn't for this song pop music today, R&B music, um, dance floor, hip-hop, um, even techno wouldn't sound the same. It's a very very influential song uh, it, has a, it has this repetitive element uh, to it, which wasn't there before. So somehow James Brown invented that in his music before the James Brown days, there was there were always songs like there was a verse, a chorus, a verse, a chorus, a bridge. And, and James Brown somehow came up then and said, eh, fuck all that, we have a verse refrain, we have a verse chorus and we just go on and, um, and then we might go to a bridge and then we go back. And, um, in my opinion, he invented uh, that way. He somehow invented dance floor music, like how it how it's um, done today. Just my opinion. So um, let's talk about that beat. It's pretty easy, I would say. The, the, there's an easy version um, uh, to it. It, the, it has a kick drum on the one and a kick drum on the end of three. Back beat on two and four, and a little swing hi hat uh, on the end of two that's about it i played in it two hired openings there's a hired opening on the end of one and the end of three i played a little slower and just with one ghost note um, at first one two three four so this is like the easiest version And in the original version, you don't really hear this, but if you look at some live footage from back in the days from James Brown, you see J.W. Starks playing another ghost note, or another uh, two more ghost notes on the end of two, and a ghost note on the last 16th note of four, like this. Personally, what I really love about it that it's that is going through in the same dynamics through the whole song. It goes to the bridge. There's a little symbol, but that's about it. In the live version, sometimes he hits a symbol. Sometimes he does a very very little variation in the kick drum, but but the beat stays the same for the whole time. So it's a very cool uh, dance dance floor vibe. So, and of course. Let's talk about the feel. Of course, the whole feel is not straight. It's not binary. It's not one E and a two E and a three E and a four E, and it's not really tripletish. So it's 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 not straight sixteenth, and it's not six tuplets. It's in between. So um, and how do you get there? So the the easiest way to get there is, I totally recommend it to play along with the song. Put it on your loudspeakers, that's even better. So you hear what you play and you hear what comes out of the loudspeaker and just play along and try to try to um, get inspired by the feel. Uh, what you could also do, you, you play a swing on your on your right cymbal and then you go from that playing that swing straight to that beat and you try to uh, keep that swing feel alive in your backbeat beat. Okay, I show you what I mean. So one, two, one, two, three, four. So you, you try to get that feel from the swing into your beat. 
Very easy. Another version, uh, another way you could you could um, try to get into that feel is I, I did this again on a uh, also on another tutorial about the uh, song Pocky Way by the Meters. You take a tambourine and you you play it in a way that it shuffles like a little bit sideways, uh, for example, on your leg. And it, it has this it has this very nice shuffleish vibe to it. Try to play along with that. that so it that was just a, an example how how you could get into that field so I totally recommend James Brown and those famous James Brown drummers Jabo Starks and Clyde Stubblefield to every drummer no matter what style you play it's a source of uh, great inspiration um, and I totally recommend to listen to that stuff so have fun doing that I hope you like this little tutorial bye from Berlin City Thank you.